Hey everybody, this is Crazy with Crazy Gaming and we're back for another episode of Junk Punk. I believe this is going to be episode 6. Okay, so we've, to catch up to date, we have completed everything over at, at Monolith 1. We, are be, we have begun building at Monolith 2. I did a little work offline and fed some materials into the machines and moved some of the... Um, lasers around of course that's the boring stuff is which is why i did it offline this is a hoot and handy to try to get us started and running we have materials rolling in and we are doing well on i believe we're doing okay on the yep it's starting to produce again i've got to make an adjustment out there at the metal scrap one but for right now i want to set up we need to set up our um, a way to make glass so that we can begin to look at the possibility of getting set up for drones which is going to help alleviate us from having to run around like a chicken with their head cut off babysitting miners laser m miners that is so that being said the machine we're going to need to do this with is a ground extractor and that's this one and it will go here on the sand but first we need to come up with some gears and some pumps 20 gears and 24 gears and 20 pumps to be exact so we're gonna run on down here and let's see what we need to make the gears we have those I believe we need 24 so That'll give, take care of that. And this one is going to require rubber ingots. So, there you have it. Let's see if we can make another foundry and get that up and running so that we can make the rubber ingots. Now, this is a floater machine. In other words, it's not going to be belted to anything. We're just going to dump some rubber in it and when we need it and copper when we need it scraps to make copper and stuff so let's rotate this thing and get it on its right axis like this we're gonna move it back over here kind of oh we need to charge that is our cue we need to stop what we're doing and run over and jump on the charger And it heals our health as well. We had a lower health bar because we jumped in the water to show you how the the water will damage you. And we never recharged since then. All right, back to what we were doing. Now that I think about it, maybe we ought to consider building that back over here. some more foundations up here come on and we'll drop it right here that way it'll be out of the way of everything else boom rotate 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 actually let's build it facing this way my bad Boom, that sets us up for that. 
We're gonna open this up. We're gonna set the recipe at rubber. And we're gonna open up our inventory. I'm gonna throw some rubber in there. And just like magic, it's making rubber ingots. Go ahead and take these out. Bring these over here. We'll turn this off so we're not sucking juice for nothing. And we'll take these over here. And we'll go to this. And exactly how many did it say we were going to need for that extractor? We're going to need 20. Whoa, so I guess we need more than 10. We need more. Turn this thing back on. Because we only got half of what we needed. See if that's going to be enough. I think it will be. Hey, let's see if we have enough now to make our extractor. We need 24 gears still. I thought we did that. We only have 19. Probably when we're building the boundary. It. There we go. Alright, so we're going to run back down here to the place where we need to put this, which is on the sand pile up here. It'll exact, extract the sand and send it to the next machine we're going to build, which is going to be a forge. So we're going to put this down right here like this. Next, we're going to put down a forge. We need 12 more gears. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, let's stop by and pick up some alloy, because there should be some in this forge unit by now. Oh, there's a whole four. I don't know what happened. Oh, I know. I didn't go back and, and reset the, the dealer whacker. We need 12 gears. Okay, we should be able to build that now. So we need to rotate this. Beautiful. Off might be a little bit. Let's 
Let's go look at this other end because I think it's hanging off. I don't know whether it will let us... Oh, look at that! Right on the money! We're going to need some power for these guys as well. But... Well, this thing is going to automatically make sand when it's running. And this thing is going to take that sand and turn it into glass. What do we need? Five gears, ten electronics. Okay, so we got that at least started over here. So uh, we need some more. We're going to need some more alloy. I need to run out and adjust the machine so that it will be sending us more alloy. I have actually two machines feeding the metal scrap. We'll adjust this one over here first. It's in a larger area of metal scrap. So it will be sending a lot in a short amount of time. Alright. Let's get rid of the stuff that's going to be scraggling back here. careful because we don't want to start snatching up stuff over there in the rubber area or the plastics area all right let's turn back this way rotate this over Alright, so we're going to set it down over here so I can go ahead and finish cleaning all the scrap. We have to run this carefully so that we don't burn it with our laser. We need it to kind of be out of the purview of that because we are going to be pointing it in this direction to get that, that stuff that's right there.
Okay, we're back. We made adjustments to all three of our lasers. And then we're going to run up here and see if we got alloy coming in again. And it looks like we do. We need these. We want to some of this junk out of our bags that we don't really need to be lugging around with us. Look at this, 50 steel ingots sitting there. Alright, so we'll take the copper back because we're going to need to make electronics. And let's go ditch the steel ingots into our machine over here. this thing functioning. Yeah, I know the power is down here on this one. I'm fairly sure, yep. Where's the power on that one? I think it's right there. Okay, so let's build this. Let me say we build this over here. Let's just see if we can get them to run individually off of each one. I think they will. Let's get this guy over here. Like so. Let's get this one hooked up right here. Add enough power. Nope, it's not. So we need another one for this. We're gonna need some more electronics. some more gears while we're at it. Let's stop to pick up some alloy on our way back. So let's take this off.
Now three should be more than enough, I'm thinking. Connectors. Okay, so it's kicking out the sand now. And this guy is making the glass. Alright, so we're going to need another machine. And before we do that, I want to build a storage for this. That we can build up. We can't use this one. We have to use the large one because of the large... That'll store all that glass in there for us. We're gonna obviously need to be build more foundations. We want to start at the edge like this. So the next machine we're going to want is a fabricator. We're going to need 24 gears and 5 electronics to build this. And what these machines are doing is they're giving us the, a way to build the parts for the drone factory. The drone fa they, all that stuff will get sent to the drone factory and the drone factory will build everything. We need to come up here. Hit tab. We need the assembler, not the fabricator. No, we don't need the assembler. Yes, we do. We're going to need this and we're going to need the fabricator. We need 24 gears. Everything has its place, and this machine has its place, and it's going to be just the other side of this. I'm going to line this up halfway decent. Connections. Because this thing makes the cores that we need. The drive cores. It can also make electronics. But all our alloy will now flow into here and even though it's not activated right now and we're not building anything because we need platinum as well. Um, we can manually feed the platinum to this machine to get the cores and the numbers that we want because we need to keep con have control of this. So there's that machine and now we need, this is where we need the fabricator. Or assembler I mean. No that's the assembler, we need the fabricator. 
We need 24 gears and 5 electronics. Let's grab some of our alloy. So let's open this up. And what do we need for the fabricator? We need 24 gears and 5 electronics. Let's do the electronics first. There we go. And 24 gears. Boom, baby. Okay. I'm going to run this machine out here. And I'm going to crank it sideways in here. And it can be fed by two things. This one and that one. We need to set this one down carefully. Because we want it facing in the right direction for one thing. So it will be able to take stuff from that. Let's see if we can figure out how we can get this lined up correctly. The only thing I don't like about this. Alright, so it doesn't matter which one it lines up on. Let's line it up like this here. be stuck in there so it's off it needs to move over better still off but I don't care this stuff's all gonna be moved soon anyway all right so that will give the core to that and this machine this over here my friends will feed glass to this There it comes. We need to turn off the glass machine. Uh, we need to turn both of these machines off, otherwise it's going to overfill our little bobby in glass, and we won't have room for anything else. But as you can see, it's filling in the glass. Now I'll show you the recipes. We need four thrusters, four lasers, two rear units and two front units to make two drones. We want to... Next, build our drone factory, which is this machine, which is going to require 24 gears and 25 electronics. We're going to need more alloy. Okay, perfect. Let's run over here, and then we're going to need to power all these machines. And luckily for us, I think we have the power that's going to be ready. Go to the base. Let's move out this way, and we're going to start at this corner.
Okay, so that should give us enough space for the factory. Let's figure out what we need to make that sucker. 24 gears and 25 electronics. I don't know whether they're really going to be able to do that without making some more carver bars. But we'll make an attack, stab an attempt at it. Look at that, we made it. Unbelievable. Let's go build this sucker. Wait. Yep. Yep, we can build it. Let's go build the drone factory. Boom, baby. Now that will feed the items the drone factory needs. Okay, so we've got a line to make drones. All set up now. All we're going to do is power everything and then feed it the materials that we need. And that's something that we will do in the next episode. We accomplished quite a bit today. We built a, a nice little line back here. We're harvesting sand. We're making glass. We've set up the machines we need to make the parts for the drones. And we have the drone factory ready to receive them so that we can get ready to start that off. And once we kick that off, we're going to make four drones as quickly as possible. We're going to do two long landing pads back here where we'll take this we'll pick this up and move it i'm going to do two landing pads back here to feed these two machines one will feed it the rare metal for the aluminum and the other will feed it the metal scrap for the steel ingots those in turn will make our stuff we'll get the alloy over here we will manufacture we will use the machine we move from there over to here and we will manufacture some platinum the hand loaded in here to get the cores we need and then the other parts the glass and um, the parts we need for like say this we need two core and alloy so everything will be alloy based we need two rears that's the same that's electronics instead of alloy or instead of glass and then these are going to require some gears as well as electronics and this one will require electronics and glass and then we'll have all the parts and that's how we're going to do this it'll go pretty smoothly i'm pretty sure and we'll try to do all that in the next episode we can get this this place kind of finally kind of semi-automatic automated so to speak because these machines will not we will need no longer need the lasers to feed these machines they'll be fed automatically and then we can start coming up with a plan for how we want to build this factory and where we want to build things and how we want to set it up and how we're going to move forward. Anyways, this is Crazy with Crazy Gaming. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And please hit that bell so you can get notification the next time we drop a video, which pretty much is almost every day now. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, evening. This is Crazy. Bye for now.